All right, well, I'm back at it again. I'm in another new car, but which one is it? Well, if you're watching this video, you probably know which one it is. It's the 2018 Ford ST. So this particular ST is an ST2. You can have three different packages in your STs. You have your ST1, which is just kind of basic cloth, Recaros. Uh, you don't have your sunroof. Uh, you don't have all the accoutrements of the car like you would in an ST2 or 3. ST2, you get your navigation with all your different apps. Uh, with that, you also get some nice carbon fiber accents with your doors, your gauges up top, your handbrake, your shift knob. All that has nice little carbon fiber accents that they didn't have on the previous model. The car that I had was an ST3 from 2014. It didn't have any carbon fiber in it. Uh, so that is a nice upgrade. Another thing that they have here in the new ones that they didn't have in the previous ones is a backup camera is now standard in I think most Ford vehicles. So some things that you might notice that are a little bit different from the previous Focus we drove, which was the RS, is that on this one uh, you also have a less aggressive spoiler, but it is back there. It's not bad. It's kind of subtle. Flows really good with the body lines. So it's not a fast and furious slap you in the face kind of thing. Also with the front, you, once you get below the headlights is where it really changes up. You don't have the large black bar in the middle. Uh, it's more broken up. The fog lights look different. So you have some of that stuff. From the side, you can't really tell the difference between the two cars outside of the big wing that you're missing in the back. Also on the RS, if you remember, there was more of a uh, rear diffuser kind of look to it around the exhaust, which you don't have with this one now having the center exhaust as opposed to the dual exhaust of the RS. When you move up to the controls of the car, it's all similar basic focus stuff, like I said, with the RS. Steering wheel controls are gonna be set up the same. Your gauge is the front for your trip and uh, all that stuff are really gonna be the same. Uh, once you get up here onto the dash, you have the same oil temp, your PSI, and also your oil pressure. Uh, one difference is you do have the carbon fiber that's carried up to that gauge, which I think would have been nice to have the same type of carbon fiber carried over to the RS, give it more of a racy feel to it. Uh, you, you still have your basic controls here from your SYNC 3, which you don't have on an ST1. Of course, you have the smaller screen on there, but on this you have your audio, your phone, your nav, your apps, and then all your different settings. Uh, you have your same dual climate control on here that you do with any of your other Fords that come with the SYNC 3 and whatnot. Uh, you do have some nice Recaros in this. Are they as nice as what you get in the RS? Uh, it really depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for more of a leather than you were uh, the, the suede or Alcantara that you have in the RS, you're gonna get that here with this car. They, they are leather STs. If you get an ST1, like I said, you're gonna have cloth. Uh, so that is kind of nice. I think with the ST3 now, they kind of do a suede insert on them, but don't quote me on that. Uh, other than that, everything's still the same. You're missing your drift button, which well, we all know that's the most fun of the RS. Outside of that, it's a normal focus. Like I said with the RS, you can daily drive this and be comfortable. You have enough room in the back seat. You have enough room in the trunk where you can put groceries. You got a sunroof. It's kind of nice. So how about we take it out on the street now and see what the real difference is between the ST and the RS. Okay, so once again, I do have to mount this up here above the steering wheel. I don't have a mount yet, which I need to get. So if the camera does fall, um, you might just see a quick edit there as I fix it. So let's see what we got here. Uh, right off the bat, the car feels a little bit lighter than what you get out of the RS. I don't know if I had said in the previous video, the RS felt kind of heavy where this one doesn't, it feels a lot lighter than the RS. Of course, you know, you don't have uh, your four wheel drive system in this like you have in the RS. So that's gonna change things a little bit. Or who knows, maybe it's these nice little carbon fiber accents uh, lightened everything up. But no, we all really know that it's uh, the four wheel drive. Get a little bit of gas. Okay, one thing I do like about this car, um, as opposed to the previous generations of the STs, such as mine, is that I don't feel as much torque steer as what I got out of my ST with this one. So it's really not bad. 
Uh, the ride is nice. It feels, I don't know, to me it feels a little bit bumpier than what I had in the RS. Um, don't really know. I don't have really suspension adjustments or anything that you can do in this. Uh, you don't have any separate drive modes. Now I know on my ST3 it came with Brembo brakes. This one here doesn't appear to have Brembo brakes. It is an ST2 so I don't know if now that's something that you only get in an ST3 but I can look that up and see. One thing that is clearly absent with this car that we had in the RS is you don't get the cool exhaust sounds that you got in the RS which was it was kind of neat to get that sound out of the car kind of made you giggle a little bit one thing that's kind of nice that I don't really mind that I thought once I got in the car and started driving it that would bother me is with the ST uh, now you don't have your full round steering wheel it's got a flat bottom kind of similar to what you get in the GT350 which is kind of nice I don't really mind it I thought it'd feel awkward as you're turning the wheel but very rarely do I even touch that section of the steering wheel doesn't feel a whole lot different from my ST that I had previously had um, yeah it's nice I mean it's it's workable I mean it doesn't scream race car but it's it's still nice as a daily commuter on this I think you get I want to say maybe an average of 20 22 miles per gallon which is a little bit better than what you get in the RS but I mean if you really want to have a sports car do you really care about miles per gallon I mean I guess some people do uh, not really my big thing I'm gonna step up onto the highway gear shifts are pre pretty nice um, it's a little bit more clunky and not as short of a throw as what you get with the RS it's not horrible by any means but it's just not the same feel uh, one thing too is with this carbon fiber shifter and I don't know if it's just because of the shifter uh, it feels weird it feels like the shifter is a little flimsy with my previous ST it was more of a shorter throw it felt like it, the shift knob was definitely different it was more like what you see on the RS you got good visibility all the way around like I said with the RS though right here at your driver's side when you turn you got one heck of a blind spot with that pillar being right there now if you're smaller and you sit closer to the steering wheel maybe uh, you won't have that blind spot or maybe if you're taller and sit farther back I like to sit pretty close to the steering wheel and have my arms bent kind of at at least a 90 degree angle that way regardless of where the car takes me my hands are in a position where I can spin the wheel to, to handle it in terms of controls everything's where you can reach it pretty good but one thing that's nice about the Ford sync system is you don't really have to worry about that stuff because you can do everything from the push of a button on your steering wheel and just speak to your navigation and any of your apps that you may have including your phone if you have your phone sync with it or plugged in if you have an Apple because therefore you use Apple CarPlay one thing that I think is kind of weird and maybe Apple will change it with an update is with Apple CarPlay you have to have your your phone plugged in through a USB port if you have an Android you have Android Auto and with that all you have to do is sync it through your Bluetooth which I think is a little bit nicer and I think hey you know Apple if you're watching step your game up all right now we are coming up to our customary rough section of road oh a little bumpy um I think it's a little bit more jarring in the RS and I think it's just because the RS of course has a stiffer suspension setup than what you get out of the ST this one just feels like a to me a regular focus stop here let's see how she does oh crap okay I will say this when you do it from a standstill and launcher she's got that torque steer if you're doing any type of normal driving you're not gonna have any problems but if you really step on it you're gonna end up with that bad torque steer just know that ahead of time you have been forewarned and the boost really seems to kick in over 2500 rpm before that you don't really feel it like I said it feels like a normal focus but once you get up into the higher rpms over 2500 then that's when the boost kicks in it really starts to pull All right. 
come up to our S turn here, see how she handles in the corner. It'll be surprising to see how it does compared to the RS. So you dip down in. Not bad. I don't feel like I have as much confidence with this car as what I did with the RS coming in and out of corners. Let me see if I can set us up over here. Let's see how we do here. You definitely can't plant it and take as much speed through the corner as what you could with the RS. So, this one feels like it wants to roll a little bit more. You can feel it go through the corner, which isn't fun because it feels like it's getting a little bouncy. Um, not as all-inspiring the way the RS is. Let me move us back over center. Yeah, so coming through the corners, it wasn't bad. It's, it's a fun little car. And I had a lot of fun with my ST. But I don't know, there's something about this car that doesn't inspire confidence in me. Um, I don't know if maybe it's because I'm so used to now the adjustable suspension that I have on my car or if after driving the RS. Okay, so there we have it. That is the 2018 Ford Focus ST ST2. Uh, like I say, not a bad car. Great car if you want to go and do some spirited driving. Maybe you want to take it to an autocross. You can very comfortably live in this car on a daily basis. Get your groceries, pick up your kids. I've done it. I know other people that have done it. In terms of which car is better, the ST or the RS, definitely the RS is the better of the two vehicles. However, once you take into effect the price, eh, then that's when it, it's kind of a little on the fence for me. For me, I feel like the ST is the better buy for what you're getting and having fun, unless you really wanna go all out, do some rally, if you're gonna be really hardcore into racing, or if you're a hardcore hatchback fan, uh, then the RS is really the vehicle for you. But when you start comparing the price points, the ST is the right way to go. I've seen them as low as $19,000 on an ST1 with rebates and dealer incentives um, and go all the way up to $26,000 for a fully loaded ST2. So compare that to $42,000 for RS, you really got to figure if the all-wheel drive and the drift modes are, are really what you're looking for. All right, you guys know the drill. Like and comment below. If you like this video, let us know it. If you don't like it, let us know it and let us know why. That way we can do what we can to improve. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that button, then hit the little bell off to the side to make sure that you get any of the updates when we post new videos here on this page. So until next time, peace. One thing that's kind of nice that... Go into detail, but you all know what that feels like. Going on. Oh boy. No, no, I'm talking out of my mouth right now. For some reason, we're like five cars deep at the red light in the right lane because, you know, why not slow everybody down that wants to actually turn right? Buttholes. I forget which way I had it. <laughs>